Hey everybody, this is Jack here, and today we're going to be making a Temple Siege video about Summoner. Uh, um, I'm playing here with No1456, and we're just going to be showing you where, how you feed, how to uh, get your upgrades, what order to build in, that sort of thing. Okay, over here's the Summoner, here's a Defiler. Okay, first of all, this is 1v1, so I'm going to grab some a little bit of mana and also grab uh, some minerals. I'm also setting up my hotkeys over here. Okay, now we start by getting armor. We want seven armor total, but six is okay for now. He's gone archer, which is that's fine. Okay, now I got my hotkeys set up. One is my gateway, two is my hero, three is first upgrades, four is my other upgrades. Now the first thing we want to get is Zergling Speed. So minor interruption there. And what you want to do is basically run your Zerglings around over to... Over here we've got top outposts. And we want to be feeding in between here and here. He's captured mid, which is fine. Now, the summoner is not actually that important in early game. Well, what's important is the Zerglings. Later on, they will be using him to do th interesting things like diff like plague and swarm. Now the great thing about Summoner is he's able to feed all over the place, which means that we're able to get way more experience than anyone else. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Sim because Sims are quite useful for getting minerals. He's probably going to come and try and kill this Zergling here. I'll just run around and stay away from him. Okay, that Zergling died, so we'll send that on up there. Let's cut the top, so we'll just move back there. Now we're going to build our simulator. Okay, he's also built in a simulator, that's fine. As you can see, I've got 40 experience, he's got 31, even though he's captured the base and got experience from that. That's because, of course, I can feed all over the place. Which makes things pretty awesome for me. He's going to capture top, which is fine. Now, the thing about Summoner is that the more bases they capture, the better for you. This doesn't make sense at first until you think about how they are able to f stop you feeding only in this place if they cap if you capture here uh, if you capture here you can only feed in between over here so it's easy for them to check where you are and kill you If because he's captured these, we can put one here and one here. He has to chase all over the place to kill our Zerglings. Okay, 
Now we're going to save up a bit of mana because we want to get this Zergling movement, then we want to get attack. Zergling movement is more important than attack because we want to be able to run our Zerglings away from other people that are chasing us. Yeah, he's got companions which is great food for us and I'll go kill those in a bit. I'll go plague him in fact. Just because plague's really annoying for him. Hey, there's plague which makes it easier for us to kill them. Now what I'm doing here is I'm doing what day nine would call tapping. It's uh, where you tap between your know, different zergling units so that you can see what's going on, whether they're getting attacked yet and stuff. Next thing I'm going to get is Zergling Speed and Okay, he's just got some stuff in the middle there which just killed our Zergling there That's fine Okay, now we can start summoning some Zerglings and killing his base. First we need to find out where he is. I have no idea where he is, so there we go. Okay, that was some nice food for us. Okay, we'll just leave them be for now. Now, I'm gonna swarm here and kill that pylon because it's fun. Okay, I don't know what that was, that was a bit of a fail. That's one kill. Then we're going to go ahead and capture that.
Okay, it's sunrise. Now we can see what we've been doing. Oh, not much. Just chilling out in space. Okay, we've captured that. Now we're going to go capture top. That was not as successful as I had hoped. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to be building cannons in mid soon. Okay, in 2 minutes 20 seconds, uh, Zerglings will spawn. And that's when I'll start pushing into his base even harder.
Okay. Sorry, I haven't been talking much. I'm a little bit ill today and my brain isn't working as well as usual. That's not good. Now it's a race to see who can kill this temple fastest.
Okay, now it's basically a rush to see who can kill the other team's base first. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do it. Just have to be able to kill all these before they kill all my guys. Okay, that's one. It. Um, thank you, No One Four Five Six, for playing with me and just showing me, showing you guys the basics of how to play a Temple Siege game. Thank you for watching.